so here's a quick video on how LED lights can cause interference on specific usually VHF channels so this channel right here is 177 megahertz that's channel 7 radio frequency this one over here is 183 um, which is channel 8 radio frequency and uh, most people probably don't know that the channels on your TV are virtual channels and the channels that the FCC assigns the actual broadcaster is a radio frequency that represents these numbers right here and what you don't ever want to see is this line right here which is power come up above this line which is your channel so this these channels here are considered 6 megahertz wide so the start frequency of this one is right around 173 the middle frequency is 177 that makes it channel 7 and then the last frequency is 180 and then that's where the next one starts so that's how channels work but all the information from your TV channel is in between this megahertz and that megahertz that whole band that 6 megahertz band is what allows the channels to come in and typically you want to see a nice flat. I don't know if you saw that, but that uh, was some interference that just came in. You want to see a nice flat line across that band. And uh, that means it's nice and clean. I'm going to reset this graph. So the yellow indicates the low signal. The black indicates the live signal. And the blue indicates maximum signal that it has achieved since we've been testing. I've got an LED light here. I know certain ones cause certain trouble. I'm going to turn it on and we'll watch what happens. So watch the black line. So now the light's on and that black line is now pulsing. It's coming all the way up to here, which is meeting our information that we've got for this channel right here. So now what we've got is a signal level that's just low enough as the same level as the interference and this light right here is broadcasting basically a dead signal right over top of our live signal and if we add more here's another I'll turn this this one on I'll turn this one on if we add more we get more destructive interference and it's see how it's pulsing like that that's because the electronics inside those LED lights has a transformer that's basically causing it to oscillate like that and it's just it's basically destroying the information that we need for the channel so a lot of people complain about losing channels at night and that's why not all LED lights do it the good manufacturers actually put the right parts in it there's about two dollars worth of parts to filter it out from doing that so there's one light we got it down some but a lot of manufacturers they just cheap out shut that one off shut that one off and we want to see a signal that looks more like that just wanted to share that information why LED lights actually destroy channel information and cause them to pixelate.